Well, now that I'm all warmed up, I guess what, I, maybe I could do this better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to look at the screen the whole time and listen at the webcam. It seems to be my style. What do I got here? Uh, okay. Um, let me see. See, I'm doing it again. I'm getting tired. Okay, the video quality is not as good. It's because I have the lights turned off. I got a lamp right here and some natural light coming in through the window. It would be a lot better if I had like you was. It'd be a lot better color if I had like a like a lamp hanging up here, right, coming down at me. It'd be a lot better. Trust me. The webcam's not that bad. Um, so you kind of see me. See. <laughs> I just don't want that light blaring in my face. So I am using Linux Lite 5.0. And uh, below my little webcam thing here, video, um, <clears throat> is the light widget for the next light. I might show you how to enable that because it's not turned on by default. So maybe I might show you how to do that. I probably will. So that when you restart your computer, this little widget, this cute little widget will show up. And another thing is uh, that I might show you is uh, the firewall. When you first install Linux Lite 5.0, it's not turned on by default. Uh, I had to go into the terminal, type in, a, uh, type in or copy and paste a command line, press enter, enter password, and then it was enabled. I'll show you how to do that. So some stuff you're going to have to do with the terminal. So yeah. So Let's begin with that. Uh, first, I'm going to show you um, how to um, set this so this cute little widget um, shows up every time you power on your computer every morning. Because I'm the type of person that turns the computer off before they go to bed and then power it on when I wake up. But that's how I work. And for this widget to show up, you're going to have to restart your computer once you turn it on. So let me show you that. You go and search and you type in start. And then you get a few choices. And then you choose um, um, session and startup. I speak funny, by the way. Sometimes I stutter. Eh, I don't care. So anyway, you got session and startup. And you want to um, click on the applications auto start tab. And then you, what I like to do is stretch it out so it's easy to see. And then you scroll down here where it says Light Widget, Custom Desktop Widget for Linux Lite. Okay, you put a check mark in there like I have done. Okay, you put a check mark in there. Okay, and then you click close. And then you restart your computer, and then you should see the widget. Okay, now the firewall. Uh, I'm going to my documents folder and and bring up my text file and uh, this here without the quotes. Leave the quotes out. Either you got it type this in or copy and paste it. I might include details down below in the description of the video if I'm thinking of it. Okay. Hopefully I remember to do that. And the firewall is called firewall, but when you type it down here in the menu it says firewall. So, yeah, whatever. So anyway, you type this in or copy and paste it into this thing down here called the terminal. But they call it an XFS terminal, XFCE terminal terminal emulator, but I call it the terminal. You bring that up. So anyway, you copy and paste this in here, right click, paste, okay. You just go down, you scroll down, you hit paste. And then you hit enter, and then it'll ask you for a password, and then you give it a password, and then it does its thing, and, it, and it's turned on. If you happen to type it in or copy and paste it in there proper. 
Okay, there's that. And then, once you did that, you restart your computer. And when you do that, guess what? You enabled your firewall to start when your computer starts. And so then this little widget down here, where it says firewall status, it says enabled. If you don't do that, it's if you don't do what I tell you, it's probably going to say disabled. <laughs> but I did it correctly, and that's why it says enabled. And if you have problems with that, then you're going to have to go to Linux, go to the Linux Lite forums, and say, hey, this I did what this crazy lady told me to do, or said in the video. Oh, and by the way, if you do, if you do any of all this stuff like I tell you to do, and something bad goes on, hey, I'm not at fault. You gotta remember, you came across my video. You did whatever at your own risk. <laughs> so I apologize, but I'm not at fault. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's how you do that. Okay. So what do else do I want to show you? Oh, well, let's look around now. Let's look around on Linux Lite 5.0, which um, became available final version on June 1st of this year, 2020. So let's look around. You got it. Uh, I got a lot of stuff in my favorites. A lot of the stuff I had to install on my own. And uh, a lot of it. Um, oh, a lot of the stuff I had installed on my own is from this thing called Light Software. You bring that up, you get it's, uh, a few things, a few choices they give you right off the hand. So you don't have to right away go to the package manager, you know. So I, I used this one for a lot of this stuff to install. And then recently used, okay. All applications that shows everything you want to look at. And this is my computer settings. You no, know, shows you a bunch of settings. Okay. It's good. They got a screensaver in this one this time. In the 4 series of Linux Lite, they didn't. And then they got accessories. Okay. And graphics, they got a few things, you know. Internet. Um, Chromium is now a snap package, so I installed Google Chrome instead. Uh, Firefox is by default. And then we got multimedia. A lot of the stuff, I used the light software to install a lot of the stuff. Some of it came with it already. So, yeah, office. And then you got system. Um, the unnecessary file cleaner, that's bleach bit. And when you bring it up, it'll say bleach bit. That's a good file cleaner. The newer version, this version I have on here, is uh, bleach bit 3.9, I think, or is it 3.6? The uh, three dots here go about bleach bit. Yeah, 3.9. Um, the one on my computer downstairs has the four series of Linux Lite on, on it still, and that bleach bit version is 2.0. So be careful how to use how you use bleach bit, okay? It's a good program, but if you get overzealous, you could screw up your system. So be careful what you select to clean. Mm. And that's about it. I like this thing. And uh, I had to do a few things to this monitor so it didn't uh, hurt my eyes so much. And it's, I think it's where I want it. So then, you know, that's about it. So what else can I talk about? How long did I talk? Oh, nine minutes. Oh, almost ten. So I better go. Okay. Well, that's about it. Ten minute video. Wow. It's good. I wonder if I'm even going to upload this. <laughs> Peace out.